नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल यू सी आफ्टर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट रैप स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया वेंट एंड गेव द डिटेल्स ऑफ इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स टू द इलेक्शन कमीशन एंड दे डिड देयर जॉब नाउ देर इज अ न्यू थिंग न्यू थिंग इज देर देर इज इज लॉयर हु इज ऑल्सो द चेयरमैन ऑफ ऑल इंडिया बार एसोसिएशन एंड द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन द लॉयर कॉल्ड आदिश सी अग्रवाल सीनियर एडवोकेट ही वेंट एंड रोड टू द प्रेसिडेंट सेंग दैट नो लिसन यू नो वॉट ये ऑर्डर को रोको डोंट अलाउ सुप्रीम कोर्ट टू पास दिस ऑर्डर डोंट अलाउ दिस ऑर्डर टू बी एग्जीक्यूटेड डोंट अलाउ द डेटा टू बी पब्लिश्ड why you may ask let's get right into the show and find out so like i told you uh, after the supreme court rap the state bank of india went and gave all the details of electoral bonds to the election commission and say baba le leo ye details hai now it is in what form how where how how much of it can be uploaded immediately and all i don't know we'll wait till the 15th but the details are given that is point number 1 point number 2 is just to give you some more details 22217 electoral bonds were bought like i told you out of which bought between 2019 and 2024 22217 out of which 22030 were redeemed this is what the sbi said and the fact is that the remaining 187 bonds which are left that is between 22217 bought and 22030 uh, actually redeemed the balance uh, 187 were put into the prime minister's relief national relief fund theek hai na that is as per law ye hua sbi said boss hum log ne sab kar diya everything is done theek hai now there is a new story the new story is uh, there is this gentleman called dr adish c agrawal who is a senior advocate uh, chairman of all india bar association president supreme court bar association ex vice chairman bar council of india so on and so forth lot of designations so this gentleman went and said that no he wrote to the president of india saying that boss this is not correct this is not correct madam president because the problem is that you are disclosing the name of the of the donors this may put the donors at risk now i'm going to read out what he wrote and then we will get into the details of this what he said is the supreme court should not allow itself to deliver judgments that would create constitutional stalemates undermine the majesty of the parliament of india and collective wisdom of the people's representative gathered in the parliament and create a question mark over the very democratic functioning of political parties themselves he says that dekho aisa kaise hai you can you know the supreme court should not question the intelligence of the political parties the people's representative sitting in the parliament okay the people's representative who feels that the government or the people of india the people of india should only know things on need to know basis baba which means the people of india kyu mangte why should the people of india know who is the donor and which donor is giving what money to which party and how much money to which party why should you know why should they know that businessman is giving money to x party or y party why should they know that how much a businessman is giving to x party and y part and y party and why should they ask as to why this businessman is giving this x party or y party this much money they should not know they should not ask this is what his sum and substance of the what i understand from what he wrote he further went on to write that the most dangerous part of this judgment is its direction to the election commission of india to correlate the donation and make public which political party received how much from which corporate entity it has the potential to sound a death knell to both parliamentary democracy and corporate freedom in our nation infringing infringing against disclosure of either their names and quantum of the donation or to the parties they have chosen differential contribution will amount to a betrayal of constitutional trust and sovereign guarantee revealing the names of corporates that has contributed to different political parties would therefore render the corporate vulnerable to victimization what he says is he says that listen if you are going to allow the name of the parties and the person the donor be made public then you are 
you are you are you are destroying parliamentary democracy and corporate freedom in our nation parliamentary democracy and corporate freedom in our nation he says we are we are destroying this is what he says he is saying that baba if a political party comes to know that this particular corporate has played this political party and not paid our political party then there could be vendetta against him so it is not right for him it is dangerous you are breaching his trust this is what he said because trust you because you were you were told him no that I, you will not disclose his name acha now i want to dwell on this one term called parliamentary democracy and corporate freedom of our nation what does parliamentary democracy and corporate freedom of our nation actually mean or what does he mean by that does he mean that parliamentary democracy is where the political party can get funds from whichever source nobody comes to know is that parliamentary democracy is that what he meant by parliamentary democracy and corporate freedom corporate freedom of what why would a corporate pay a large amount of money to a political party pray tell me why would a corporate pay a large amount of money to a political party to strengthen the democracy of this country or to ensure that that corporate gets favor from that political party at some point in time you tell me why would a corporate pay a corporate a large corporate paying huge amount of money for a political party so that that political party comes to power for what why would that corporate want a political party to come to power if that corporate has got nothing to do with the politics of the nation why would that corporate want a political party to come to power Cor corporates wants a political party to come to power supports a political party that could come to power that could possibly come to power purely because after that political party comes to power it benefits the corporate now if that is called as corporate freedom in our nation corporate freedom at the cost of what at the cost of hiding which company pays what amount to what political party because which company pays what amount to what political party can broadly define as to why a, a, a particular corporate pays that kind of money to that political party can can a common man not decipher it and and define it and that's precisely what the what the what the process is isn't it electoral bonds was bought into this country because it was a transparent way of funding the political party wasn't it and how can it be called transparent the moment you say that listen you know what ex political party will be given but uska naam nahi bolne ka why money will be given but kitna nahi bolne ka and who will give wo to bolna hi nahi chahiye are then what is the transparency are you making a joke out of it the attorney general of india says that you know need to know basis hona chahiye and uh, somewhere down the line the senior advocate also now writes to president you stop this entire process because it will harm parliamentary democracy and corporate freedom you think about it and you uh, let me know now the fact is supreme court bar council uh, association they said that hello we are not part of all this this letter is not written by us this letter has got nothing to do with us this is written by this individual called adish agrawal it is written by dr adish agrawal we have got nothing to do with it it is his letter his opinion his point of view nothing to do with us we interviewed adish agrawal we interviewed adish agrawal and shashank has done the show the show i am going to attach and in fact when asked as to why uh, this uh, bar association didn't want to kind of support you and why they distanced you this is what he had to say just hear this why is it sorry i am cutting you but why is it that the association has distanced distanced itself from your stance because you know in supreme court lawyers always bow down before the judiciary even if judiciary passes a very adverse order although judicial with they are entitled in the case in that case if even if a contempt notice is being issued to a lawyer of supreme court still they will say highly obliged my lord so i have it is i never ask somebody to join me why i should ask because when these people i know they are spineless people why i should ask them i am the president 
I have been duly elected president with record margin. I defeated Mr. Dushantave. This uh, so, is element. So therefore, the story is, I think, the exposure of electoral bonds, who gave what to which party, is going to cause a lot of flutter in the political situation in India. If it is disclosed and disclosed properly, and that disclosure goes to the last common denom denominator of India, if it is made clear to the people and people can understand by looking at that website that this is the company, this is what is the money they have paid and this is the party they have paid, it is definitely going to cause a lot of flutter in Indian politics. And on the in the eve of the election, this is not a good sign for politicians. So the Supreme Court did their job by asking uh, a disclosure. SBI said, we've got so many silos, we cannot disclose, we'll take six months. Supreme Court again wrapped SBI and said, nothing doing, you have to disclose. SBI disclosed. Now, like I said, the first thing I want to know is whether it comes in a format where a normal person can understand. That is the first thing. And second thing is if it is coming in a format, there are going to be a lot of impediments like this uh, gentleman, Dr. Adish Agrawal, who is going to ensure or try to ensure not ensure, sorry, wrong word, try to ensure, write to the president and all, to say that mat, usko mat ane do bar. This is the point I wanted to make. He has his point of view. I have mine. I have exercised my understanding and point of view and my right to express to you. And this is what the editorial of today is all about. Do watch that uh, interview that uh, Shashank has uh, taken, uh, Shashank has spoken to uh, Mr. Agrawal, do watch that interview and you decide for yourself, watch my editorial, watch this interview, you decide for yourself what is right and what is wrong. Do give me your opinion in the comment box down and please subscribe to our channel. Please do subscribe to our channel. It will help us. It will help us grow and uh, it will help us to reach you. That's the most important thing. Till I see you next time. Namaskar. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.